Hi, I'm Micah Boswell, and this is my final project for ECE 4514. I uh, implemented a Pac-Man game on an Altera uh, D2-115 board with the Cyclone 4 FPGA. So the objective of this project was to implement uh, this game in Verilog in hardware language um, and to create uh, a clone of the first level of the classic Pac-Man video game implement as much functionality as I could in the time frame I was given for this project. So the constraints I was given were that I must use uh, this board that we were given for the class. Uh, it must be implemented in Verilog hardware. No uh, software was used in this project. Um, and uh, I could use any of the peripherals that are built into this board as well. So, and some constraints that I gave myself for this project were um, to clone the video game and to make the game fun to play. So, the peripherals that this game uses on the board are the VGA output, which connects to an XGA monitor, and which is used for the game display. Also, it uses the PS2 input, which uses a PS2 keyboard to um, control the game the uh, keys on the keyboard uh, to move Pac-Man around. It also uses the LCD display on the board uh, to show the score of the game. So the way it works is the user um, controls Pac-Man with the keyboard and watches the display to see how the game is going. The hardware controls uh, the, all of the interactions between the user and the display and the game rules, etc. So this is a block diagram of uh, the project with each one of these blocks being a Verilog module or several Verilog modules. Um, on this end we have a clock generator, um, some sync generators for the uh, XGA output, we have, uh, and then we have a row of what I call renderers, which uh, take a uh, position on the screen in terms of pixels and turn it into a, a color output that gets output to the display. So there's uh, one of these for each layer of uh, imagery on the, that gets displayed on the screen. Uh, there's also a few for um, keyboard input, um, score counter, and game control, which detects uh, things like win conditions and losing and uh, things like that. Um, some of these modules I did not write. Um, those are the PS2 interface module, which I got from Altera. The uh, clock generator, which uh, I generated using the uh, Altera tools. And the images that I used in this project I also got from third party sources. So I started development early on this project, um, and I used a uh, what I call an accelerated development process, where uh, I didn't test every part of the project, but um, I just kept straight from one part to the next, improving as I went, and then going back and fixing things when I found bugs. Um, and I used. Uh, Signal tap signal analyzer to uh, logic analyzer to uh, analyze some of the timing issues and some of the uh, logic. So, the different parts of this project in chronological order that I developed them in were uh, sprites for the images in the project. Um, they use lookup tables for uh, to store the images. So it's basically a two-dimensional array indexed by um, screen position, X and Y. And uh, some of them were quite large. So I used some software to generate some Verilog lookup tables from ping images. Um, and then I spent a good portion of the development on uh, 
collision detection for um, uh, the sprite movement on the screen and navigating uh, Pac-Man through the maze. Um, uh, I address, had to address several timing issues and, um, with that, and uh, that took a good amount of time. Um, part of Pac-Man is that Pac-Man uh, consumes these little dots on the in the maze as the game is played. Um, that took me a while to figure out as well. Uh, I basically, the way that works is I use a lookup table that instead of mapping uh, a color to each pixel, maps a dot number to each pixel, and uh, that way it can keep track of each dot individually, uh, depending on which pixel uh, Pac-Man hits. And there's also uh, special dots that are larger that require uh, their own collision detection and tracking. Um, the PS2 input module uh, was just an integration of existing code that I, uh, I found and modified slightly to fit my uh, use case. And uh, so that was that module. Then I worked on the movement algorithms for the sprites, uh, especially the ghosts, which are Pac-Man's enemies in the game. Um, they, uh, they have an algorithm that allows them to chase Pac-Man, and they also have a special mode when Pac-Man eats a, what's called a power dot, or a power pellet. Uh, they uh, turn blue and they, um, and then Pac-Man is able to consume them as well. So uh, for that, there is a there's a sprite change, which means changing a lookup table, and uh, and also uh, changing some of the logic in uh, what happens when Pac-Man collides with them. Uh, and then the game control module, which detects uh, win, lose, and adjusts parameters of the other modules. Uh, for those conditions, such as when Pac-Man encounters a ghost, um, it actually makes Pac-Man disappear and replaces it with um, an animation of him uh, disappearing. And also the ghosts stop moving and uh, the whole game stops basically. And also when you win the game, it uh, stops the game and displays a winning animation. So uh, now I'm going to demonstrate uh, this project on this board. Uh, so. So here you can see uh, a, a game that has just been lost and uh, Pac-Man has disappeared. And the game controls allow you to just use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move Pac-Man. So first I'm going to reset the game. And then I can move Pac-Man using um, these arrow keys. Um, and watch that when a Pac-Man collides with a ghost, there's this animation and he disappears. So, if I play the game and win, uh, you'll notice um, the other things I talked about. Um, there's the uh, larger power pellets in the four corners and when each one of them is contacted, the ghosts change. And when they are uh, consumed, they turn and they change again to a different uh, sprite and then return to their base in the middle um, to regenerate. Um, I was going to say this. To 
show you the uh, end game. score on the board as well? So it shows the, the score uh, on the LCD display mm -hmm. on the board. In this case, it was 3140. Um, there, uh, it, it, um, that part of the game is slightly incomplete um, since it does not count the score for the power pellets as extra, and it does not count the score for eating the ghosts. But it counts all. Of, it basically just counts the number of uh, pellets that Pac-Man has eaten, and then multiplies by ten. You get ten points for each one. Um, so that's my project. Great. You win. Thank you.